Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and a welcome to the update for Thursday's card, March 14th, 2024. A comp play in Mountain West Conference turning action in just a moment. First, I want to say how much I appreciate all of you, the support jumping on board this March in college basketball once again. And we've been able to uh, reciprocate, if you will, uh, by having a heck of a run in college baskets. In fact, over the past 17, 18 days, we've hit 63%, up almost $5,000 in college basketball. And we cashed yet another seven-unit play last night with our college sweep on Wednesday. The seven-unit was the Utah Utes who throttled Arizona State basically start to finish in that game. So the top plays now in college, and top plays, by the way, are five units and higher. Top plays in college basketball now, nine and one, my last 10 in college baskets, 61 and 34 with my last 95 in college baskets and overall all sports combined. 176 and 122, and now up over 21,600 bucks. And the reason I'm telling you about this is because I do have a six unit top play going in college baskets on Thursday. It is a day game. So just a heads up if you want to jump on board, it is afternoon action and uh, it is a six unit play. I've also got a another play from college basketball part of this package, 2 and 0 Thursday. Uh, it's a night game, by the way. So if you want to jump on board, get that six unit, be sure to do so. Uh, early on Thursday. As far as NBA and NHL, I do have a play in each. I did go 0-1 at each last night. I had uh, Vancouver last night. They blew a 3-0 lead in pucks. And then in baskets, I had the Lakers, and they went down to defeat a three-star play there. But again, star of the show for me today on Thursday, of course, that seven, uh, six-unit play, excuse me, six-unit play in college basketball, part of a two-play package. Let's get to the uh, comp play, which is in the Mountain West Conference, tipping off around 9 p.m. Eastern time right here in Las Vegas at the Tom, at the Thomas and Mac. And I'm back in Colorado State over Nevada. Right now as I speak, it's a little bit more than half uh, of the books have Colorado State plus two and a half. Starting to see some threes popping up over the last couple of hours and I'm recording this video around 3 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, but about 60% of the books still have it at two and a half. Nevada comes into the conference tourney as hot as anybody, man. I mean, they've won seven straight games. They've looked good in doing so for the most part. One of those during the winning streak was a 77-74 win over these Colorado State Rams. And I tell you what, the Wolfpack did win both meetings, but I really thought the Rams should have won that last game. I mean, Nevada couldn't really pull away, only won by three, despite making 10 of 21 three-pointers and despite getting eight more free-throw attempts than did the Rams. And I think Colorado State's going to bounce back here and stave off what would be a three-game season sweep at the hand of the Wolfpack. And if you look at the pack, they did nail about 57% of their two-pointers in the other meeting. I think that comes down a little bit here uh, with the Rams defense. And on the flip side, Colorado State's seventh in the country in two-point accuracy. I think you'll see them fare well in this game. They're 36th in defensive adjusted efficiency, too. The Rams do more than just shoot the basketball. They pay attention on the defensive end. Uh, you know, listen, Nevada's a good basketball team. These teams are virtually even as far as their power ratings are concerned. But that point spread adjustment, Colorado State was a seven-point favorite at home over Nevada not too long ago. And as I mentioned, now they're getting two and a half to three points, nine and a half, ten-point adjustment. And it's only a neutral court. It's in Las Vegas. So I'm going to grab those points with the Wolf, excuse me, with Colorado State. Colorado State Rams plus the points in Thursday's Mountain West Conference action is the cop play. And don't forget, again, the star of the show for me is college basketball again on Thursday. Six-unit day game. I've also got a night game as part of the package. We'll look to take that uh, top play run in college to 10-1 and one and 62-34. and 34. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.